Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dovston, and here we are at our weekly overview for the I Ching for the week commencing the 16th of May 2022. Well, last week we had Hexgram 18 work on what has been spoiled, where there was corruption we were rooting out, where there was chaos and disorder, where the garden was filled with weeds and we were challenged with the task of rooting out the weeds, clearing out everything that didn't belong and decreasing the clutter, decreasing the things that are no longer important and cutting back, trimming back, focusing on what is really important, putting down the things that waste our time, our money, our energy and our focus. So what were the weeds that you were hacking through this past week? What were the decreases that you made that lifted your energy, that made you think differently around the value of being absolutely laser focused? Please do share in a comment. It'll be great to see how the I Ching worked with you last week. So this week we have lots of relationship and connection information to share. So we'll get into that in a moment. First up, a reminder, there's only a few days left of the May giveaway. You'll know that I am doing tutorials based on your questions that you submit and I'm drawing four lucky winners out of the giveaway at the end of May and we're going to do tutorials on your questions. So if you'd like to put a question to the I Ching, please go to the link below this episode, whether you're YouTube or podcast, follow the link, follow the instructions there for the giveaway and get your question into the queue. You might win. And of course, the May overview looking at sprouting and the challenges of new beginnings, what have been some of the beginnings and the sprouts that have been popping up all around you at this time. Remember to keep focused on the foundation. Okay, so let's get into this week. What is the I Ching asking us to pay attention to for the week commencing the 16th of May? Our first hexagram is a returnee, <laughs> hexagram 16, enthusiasm. Here it is again. We had April, locked enthusiasm. We had the week before last, we had enthusiasm and that very interesting changing line where we were bleating, 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 okay? And I had an insight, it was Tuesday of that week and I was already moaning about something that was happening. And I said to a friend of mine, oh, it's Tuesday and I'm already trumpeting, trumpeting, trumpeting. Okay, so what were you trumpeting about then? Well, here we have the same hexagram back this week, hexagram 16, enthusiasm, which is all about building up capacity to act, motivation, energy, getting people rallied, motivating them to join us, building up the battery, the power to act when the time is right, building up our capacity to motivate others, to motivate ourselves. And we also spoke about this idea of music being a symbol of this hexagram, of how the right tunes can get us just mobilized and energized, just brings energy, it brings anti-gravity as I called it. So this week we are focused on preparation, on getting ready, on building up our capacity to act. There's something coming down the line where we are needing to get into gear. And so there's another opportunity for us to do the preparation work and to get ourselves organized. Now, this week there are two changing lines and there are a progression from the line we had before. So I mentioned to you that the changing line in the first position the week before last was this elephant bleating, trumpeting, trumpeting, moaning, why is no one listening to me? And our task was to learn that we are capable of doing it ourselves, that we have to stop exhausting ourselves trumpeting, but to actually get going and look after ourselves. Now, we've made some progress. When we look at the changing lines this week, they're in the fourth and the fifth position. So let's have a look at what these specific pops of change are bringing to us this week. In changing line four, what we see is that in changing line four, we've crossed over the middle threshold of the hexagram. So the first three lines are our internal process. The last three lines are our external. When we cross from line three to four, we cross a threshold or a chasm as it were. And so this line often represents just being on the other side of the challenge to be overcome in the situation. So changing line four says, we've been calling out to others for support, sending out a message, bloom, bloom, or this elephant trumpeting out, right? 
And what we get is we get a resonance. We get people who are like-minded, who share our vision, who respond to the call, who hear us and want to support us because they can feel our purpose, our clarity, and our sincere wish to make a difference and to support them. So what we see in this week, what we are being asked to pay attention to, is the evidence and the opportunity to get support, okay? To get people that you need to rally around with you, you get their support, we mobilize the people, we get everyone moving in the same direction because there's this resonance with what you are calling out, the motivation that you're calling out to other people. There's a connection and there's a resonance with others. So this week, that opportunity presents itself to perhaps work with this resonance in a new way, see the opportunity of the resonance, and perhaps even just realize that the work that you've been doing, the investment in your purpose and in what you're trying to do and your meaningful endeavors are actually welcomed and relished by others who share the same goals. And you get that resonance, you get that motivational support that tells you others want what you are trying to do. So this might in your life be support from people around you for what you're trying to do in your life. Maybe you're making a career change. This might even be in business, having support from your network or your community or your team. But there's something here where the resonance clicks in. And let's lean into that resonance, let's see it, and let's mobilize it. Okay, in the fifth position is our next changing line. And this one is quite a challenging changing line. It says that in this process of providing and prepping and building the battery and doing what we need to do, there is intense pressure. We're under pressure from all angles. So this is going to be a week where there's a lot of pressure and we are being called to push into that pressure, to grow into that pressure and keep focused on what we're doing. There is a sense here with this changing line that the pressure is useful. It is helping us to prevent squandering our motivational energy, our battery, down avenues we shouldn't. So in a crisis, when there's all this pressure, what tends to happen is we have to make some choices. We have to prioritize what we're going to pay attention to, what we're going to work on, and how we're going to make it happen. And so this changing line, if you're feeling intense pressure this week where things are just, oh, things are difficult and you're trying to grow into it and trying to motivate and build, just be patient. Just keep doing the work, okay, because it will come right. But in this process of the pressure, what happens is we are saved from unnecessarily losing our energy, our motivation, using it up down avenues we should not pursue, okay? So this is keeping us really present and focused in present time on what's really in front of us right now. Interesting how that might connect also to hexagram three sprouting for the whole of May where things are popping out all over the place. Right, so looking to our second relating or outcome hexagram for this week, what is the second flow of change we're being asked to pay attention to? It is hexagram eight, grouping or holding together. This hexagram is all about how we unite and bind with others to achieve something. So think about a whole lot of ropes that are connected and everybody between you and a network of people, you're all bound to each other in a positive way. And we're all holding together. We're all keeping each other safe as we climb up this mountain because we are tethered together and we have safety upon safety. If one person has a stumble, the rest pick up the slack. Okay, so we are tethered together in this lattice of ropes. And what this does is it binds us together around the central thing that we're trying to do. So grouping is all about asking yourself some important questions around who am I grouped with? Are these the right people? Am I contributing to this group, to this network, to this union? Are we actually all united around a common goal? And what can we do to strengthen our bond? When we choose groups that are right for us, how do we work to lead and to strengthen the bond of our shared goals? And so part of this hexagram is the keyword leadership. And we are being asked, when we get this hexagram, we are being asked, are we leaders? Are we able to do our bit in this group? 
because this hexagram does bring with it a lot of things to deal with, lots of things coming at us, one after the other, lots of activity. The way we deal with it is we clip in with others, we bind ourselves with others that share a purpose, and we work together to achieve something. So in this week, the way that we maximize the week is we work with others and we bind with others and we have a shared purpose that guides us forward and helps us to achieve something wonderful this week and helps us to have insights around the role of the group. Is this the right group? Am I doing what I can to support the group? Am I leading from my position in the best way possible? How can we strengthen and reinforce the value of the group? An interesting week. Every week is interesting. Okay, so remember to go and complete the giveaway link and I will see you in our next weekly overview. Wishing you a fantastic week. Please like, share and subscribe. May the groups, may the enthusiasm, may the support come to you this week and I will see you very soon on the socials and at our next weekly overview. Cheers.